Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a bow knife. If you don't know what a bow knife is, why don't you watch this video? A bow knife is essentially a very low TPI saw that is made for cutting bread. This is an interesting thing to make because wood is not a very strong thing when it comes to curves if you're not steam bending it. And a bow saw is a curved piece of wood that is just cut out and then you have the blade in between. You have to get those holes just exactly spaced. I'd like to have a tensioning system on it, but I don't think it's gonna work. So, we're gonna figure it out. Now you've got this blade. Let me sketch one real quick. One I saw was 17 inches long. I guess that kind of works. Flat on the bottom. Comes up, comes down into the handle. Absolutely humongous. So we got blade here, pointing like that, and then you saw back and forth and it cuts the bread. It's a beautiful design. Get some wood. Maple, always a good choice. Bamboo. Looks really nice. Get that too. Treat a two by six, that'd be a fun one. I really like these ones. Well that could be one right there. Let's glue this sheet. Glue this in half. Glue it up, split them in half, and then I'll put one on here, and then I'll get a sheet out of this bamboo, and make that another one. And then make one, and I don't know what the other one's gonna be, but I'll do two right now and work on the other ones later. First step, I'm gonna rip this one down. Okay, first step. And then I'll split this one in half. Alright. No, wait. Kind of. Still gotta do something with these. So we gotta split this down the middle. We gotta strip off of this and plant it down until we get rid of this blood groove. What I'm gonna do with these now? I know what I'm gonna do with those. These I might take this maple, glue them together again, and then split them apart, and then make one out of it. Either way, it seems like I should glue these together. Good, I just found, and it's even big enough. Perfect. Layer one, layer two, and then we clamp. Need more clamps. Well, it's a dark and stormy night, and I'm finally getting back to all the glued up stuff I have. I'm gonna do this one first, because it's in my way. Just we'll put this in half. Resaw this. We'll cut this in half of maple. that cut out of there. Lane this side heavily. Good. Better. Perfect. Slight change of plan. Instead of doing oak on both, we're going to do bamboo. That. Okay. Next morning, let's take some clamps off. All right, now I've got to figure out how to get this off. Of course, I could use just a table saw, or we make it infinitely more complicated and use this. I use a table saw. Uh, 
Now because this side says plane this side heavily, I now need to plane that side heavily. There. I don't really like this shape particularly, so I'm going to not pay too much attention to it when I'm cutting. again. Ooh, it's pretty. Always put it back. I right, never see it again. different with the round over. The handles feel really good. This is still my favorite by far. The oak down the center and that maple strip. Oh man, it's a beautiful thing. Now we're gonna hand sand for a couple hours. This step I think is probably mentally the hardest one is raising the grain. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful, man. Drink it all sanded and it's all nice and Smooth, and then you get it all wet, and it all goes away. But it doesn't actually all go away. It's just that last sanding layer is really all you need to worry about. I'm just going to use 400 grit and bring it back down to where it was. But that's going to be beautiful. Wow. And now we have these very beautiful pieces of wood, but they don't have any blades on them, you might notice. Helicoils. I think that's the right word. I don't really know. There's probably someone smarter in the audience that can tell me that. I'm going to call them helicoils. They're little threaded inserts. They have screws, uh, not screws, they have threads on the outside and they have threads on the inside. So you can drill a hole, thread them in, and then you have something, well they're brass, but not steel, something brass to thread your screws into so you don't wear out the wood with a wood screw. Now we're going to mark blade length. I might want a marker for this actually. This way, about there. We're going to put one in and then mark the other one. So let's see, it's this one. Looks good. Okay. how deep I am. He is like that far. So that's good. Big wide screwdriver, like an awl. I used to call them owls. I'm smart though and I call them owls. Oh, come on. It just snapped. What's the point in that? Whoa. What happened to you guys? Let's try it again with the other one. I think it was just like off center in the casting or something. That's why I did that. Yep. Bigger hole. Try a quarter inch. Bigger than it. All right, look at the finer sizes. So 1564 is the size. 
directly under one quarter, and I think it'll work, barely. Drill this out. Okay, it's threading. It broke too. Okay, let's try quarter inch. It's too tight again. There's no way it needs to go bigger than this. There's just no way. Yes, it's in. Look at that. It looks horrible, but it's in. Yeah, it's crooked. But I don't care, because it's in. I put the screw in. Look at that, it even fits. It's pretty neat. Quite nice. Quite nice. So much easier than the other one. Okay, quarter inch hole. That's the key. If you're putting in, what are these, number 10? Number 8, helicoils. Drill a quarter inch hole. And then we put the screw in. Hmm. They're too close together. That's not good. I'm not going to fix that. When I screw it in, it's somehow pushing the blade in instead of pulling it out. So I think if I block it up, clamp it, and then screw it in, it should be fine. Put it like that. Clamp it. Now we tighten it. It's better than it was. It actually work now. Good looking knife. video please tell me why you liked it like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this tell me and as always I'll see you in the next one